Hey guys, Hector Castillo here again for another Girls Chase video. Today we're going to talk about cuffing season and why it's awesome for single guys. Okay, firstly, what is cuffing season? Cuffing season is a term for the period of the year when people start to get into relationships and they start to get cuffed. Now, this is terminology. I don't know where it comes from exactly. Probably I'm like a 99% sure it comes from rap where a guy will make fun of some guy for cuffing a girl who's a slut and then he's smashing her and she goes home and kisses her boyfriend. And, you know, he calls him the police and all that shit. Go listen to K Camp. I'll link a, a video in the description so you can fully understand what cuffing is. Okay, so it's a period where men and women usually get into relationships. Now, when does cuffing season actually occur? I'd say between August 15th-ish, right halfway through August, when autumn really starts to hit, and then middle of February, maybe going into March. Now, this period is important because of the weather, and because of the social functions that happen during those times. Firstly, the weather, it gets cold, right? So if we go back to primal days, we're not gonna go out be hunting. We need to kind of stay in our cave and hoard our food and then be with whoever is with us. Oh, it's my girl that I found, you know, climbing through trees the other day in the jungle. Okay, now she's my girl for the winter and we're gonna buckle down and make some babies. That's why cuffing season happens because the human survival instinct kicks in and we're gonna hibernate like bears. Then there's a social function of cuffing season or a social element to it. And that is holidays, Christmas, Thanksgiving, um, I guess Halloween starts like, oh crap, it's holiday season. Thanksgiving's gonna come, I'm gonna have to bring someone to my parents' house or my grandparents' house. And you know, I haven't brought anyone in two years. And if you're a girl, you know, all my parents are asking me when I'm gonna find a good husband and have children. Uh, if you're a guy, it's your dad's like, you know, when are you gonna produce me some grandchildren? Or, you know, can't you find a girl? Don't you have? Any skills with women? No, dad, I am not really good with girls, but that's why I listen to Girls Chase every week and learn how to pick up chicks. So, cuffing season, even though there's a lot of pressure for you to be in a relationship at this point, I wanna tell you that whether you want a relationship or you just want to get laid a lot, cuffing season is great for you. If you wanna be single and just fuck some girls, it's great because there's a lot of girls desperate for attention and companionship during this period. Uh, now, I, that probably sends off some alerts. I'm not saying that you should take advantage of the girls who want to find love and then you just fuck them and chuck them. I would advise against uh, that very much so. Please don't do that. But as long as you're honest with your intentions and even though in the back of her head she wants a relationship and every girl really wants love in a relationship, you know, very few times are they like, no, I just want sex from you, right? Ideally, right, if they could have sex and an amazing guy, they would take that in a heartbeat. But sometimes they're stuck with a guy who's just good for sex. She's like, yeah, whatever, I'm horny, I'll fuck him. But ideally women want both. If you are unable to give that to her, whether because she's not your type or not hot enough, or there's just some chemistry missing, but you do want sex, as long as you run your game normally and you are upfront about your expectations. And if you wanna learn more about setting the right expectations, I have a video about that and I'll put it in the description. But the basic nature of it is don't lie, but then don't either be the guy who's like, oh, I wanna be your boyfriend, right? Keep your keep your expectations very clear in that you're building a connection with her and you take her on a date, right? Let's say you meet her at the mall Christmas shopping. You say, hey, I think you're really beautiful. I saw you walking, I wanna come say hi. Oh, hi, blah, blah, blah. Exchange numbers, go for coffee. You guys build a nice connection. Then the next date you cook dinner at your house and then you guys end up sleeping together. This is great because she's gonna be a little bit more fertile than during this period or more thirsty for a relationship during this period because of the reasons explained. And to make sure that you don't set the wrong expectations, you wanna be not as romantic as you might want to be, even though if, even if you're naturally romantic like I am, I'll pull back my emotions a little bit just to not give her the wrong idea and make her feel bad when I don't want a relationship. Also, you don't wanna see her too often. I'd say no more than six times a month. That's a pretty solid number where you see her once a week and then there's a few instances where you can see her twice just cause you're really horny. And then, you want to avoid any promises that you cannot keep. You don't want to make her think you're gonna go on a trip with her when you're really not, or that you know, you're gonna go to Thanksgiving and meet her parents if you're not. Don't commit to anything that you're not willing to actually commit to. And as long as you do that, you don't set the wrong expectations, and boom, you're taking advantage of cuffing season where girls are really looking for companionship, 
or they're really just looking for sex, but you're not taking advantage of them in a bad way, just using the advantage of the season uh, to your benefit, and then you're not hurting anyone. So I wanna make that very clear. Now, if you do want a relationship, scrap all of that. Um, of course, don't fuck with her and then be like, hey, I want you to be my girlfriend. Don't, don't be that extreme. Um, slowly let the investment build and her affection for you build and have her be the one who pushes for a relationship. So some guys take it to the extreme. They're either the kind of guy who is like, oh, I never want a relationship, or they're the guy who is really gunning for and asks girls for commitment even before they have sex. That's the worst thing you could do. It's not the worst thing to ask a girl for uh, commitment after you have sex, but it's pretty bad. You're a man who is probably thirsty for a relationship and isn't operating by his normal uh, primal instincts of just fuck and then continue to be a wild stallion and then she eventually convinces him to settle down into a monogamous relationship. That's the kind of pattern that you want where she strives for commitment. And to be in accordance with that natural path, you want to, again, sleep with her as soon as possible and then continue to sleep with her and if she brings up family functions, then say sure, why not? Don't be overly excited to do it, but don't reject it either because then she's gonna think, oh, he's really not serious about me and then find another guy who is when deep down you actually did wanna date her. Don't make that mistake either. So don't push for a commitment, but do allow her to invite you to things and to get a little bit more serious and then to say, okay, that's fine. We can go to that next level, slowly. All right, now we know that guys who are looking for sex and fun or guys who are looking for relationships can both benefit from cuffing season. So we have a few more months left of cuffing season. And if you're looking for fun or looking for love, watch this video again and go out and find some girls. I'm Hector Castillo, girlshace.com. Please like and subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. Follow me on social media. And I'm trying to think of a comment to ask you to do, but I can't think of anything. So we're gonna make this again because David's gonna get mad. Wow. Huh. And please comment if you've noticed the effects of cuffing season. Are girls starting to hit you up over text when they weren't before, but all of a sudden it's the holidays and they kind of seem interested? Are the girls you're talking to or sleeping with getting really, really emotionally invested quickly, more quickly than you're used to? If so, please let me know what's going on and then we can talk about it and show everyone that cuffing season is real and so that the next time cuffing season happens, they're gonna be like, this is a real thing. I can really take advantage of this. And then you'll get pussy. Yeah.